Why don't you just take me in the middle? I'm such a hypocrite. I'm literally talking about fitness and working out and all this stuff. And I am eating chocolate chip cookies that I just baked. But they are so soft and so good. What is up guys? If this is your first time on my page, on my channel, on any of my videos, welcome. Have a seat. Stay for a while. Would you like some cookies? Some milk? And if you are returning because you're a subscriber or just like watching my videos, welcome back. You also get imaginary cookies. Thank you for all the love and support that you guys always show. Okay, now this has been a highly suggested video that I post my workouts on YouTube, mainly because I usually post them on my Instagram page, but um, they're only a minute long, and also I don't really break down like, oh, how many sets I'm doing, or what this exercise does, or any of that, or kind of how to do it correctly. So it's not really friendly for somebody who's starting out at the gym, or it's not really that comfortable at the gym yet. Now, I will be definitely still posting those videos on my Instagram, but I am also going to have detailed videos here on YouTube of me breaking down, um, you know, how many sets I'm doing and why and all of that good informational stuff and how to properly do certain exercises so that way people feel comfortable when they're at the gym. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I couldn't think of a better, I guess, first fitness workout video than a full body workout. I will say that this workout is um, very time extensive. There's really no way to make it shorter than like three and a half hours. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. Yep, you heard me right. Three and a half hour workout, maybe even four. But I promise you it is worth every minute. You are gonna feel like death afterwards but the greatest death ever another disclaimer i will throw it out there that i did put in the title that it is for beginners through obviously advanced and i just want to say when i put beginners i don't mean like somebody who has never stepped in the gym it's probably not the best idea to start out with this but if you're kind of new maybe you've been in the gym for like a month or two and you kind of are familiar with how weights work and all that stuff this is definitely something that you could do um, you don't have to be the strongest person in the gym to do this or the fittest. It could be done for beginners because even if you're doing it with 5 pounds or 100 pounds, you are still going to definitely feel the effects of this workout for like the whole week. I forgot to add one more thing. So my gym actually closes early on Sunday and that's when I went to do this workout. Like I said, it takes forever. So I personally did not get to do everything on the list for this workout. But the entirety of the workout and how it should have looked if I was able to record all of it. Will be in the description box, literally as detailed as possible. Now that I rambled on for like ever, let's go ahead and get started into the reason why y'all probably clicked this video. The workout. So I didn't get to record this, but the workout actually starts with a four mile run. I know, disgusting, I'm sorry. Don't hate me though, I didn't come up with the workout, my friend actually did, and he loves cardio and running and all of that stuff, and uh, yeah. He also has a YouTube channel where it's very fitness oriented and you can learn a lot of cool stuff. So if you want to check that out, it is The Barrel Wells Fitness and I will put his information down below. Also for the four miles, you do not have to do it all like running all of it. You can do intervals with sprinting or intervals with high incline or whatever works for you. As long as you get those four miles done, that's really all that matters. You could even split it up, like let's say do a minimum of two at the beginning of the workout, then do a few of the exercises, come run another mile, or do the two if you want. If you did the one, just do more exercises and then come back and finish that mile. As long as you get the four miles done during your workout, that's really all that matters. If four miles is going to leave you completely dead, that you're not going to be able to do the rest of the stuff, then it's not worth sacrificing all that effort in the four miles if you're not even going to be able to do the rest of the workout. So you know, you know your body. All right, guys, now we're going to finally start for real this time. We're going to go ahead and start with some lat pull downs, working your back. And now for this exercise, well, the whole workout, it's going to be 10 reps of 10 sets. So you're going to do 100 total reps for each body part or each exercise.
And I am going to superset basically almost this whole workout because it is very lengthy. And to even get in about three hours, it is gonna you're going to have to superset. So then we were doing some upright rows. And then we're moving on to some face pulls to work those rear delts. I like to mix it up, so I'll do some directly um, pulls towards my face. And then I'll switch over to pulling some directly over my head. Excuse that bruise on my leg. I ran into a table. <laughs> now we're moving on to legs. This is one of my favorite lifts, deadlifts. Just make sure you have proper form. You want to keep your back very flat and your chest up. Also, a good reminder with this is that you are doing 100 reps. So please make sure you pick a weight that you are comfortable with because you don't want to be exhausted after the third set. And then this is me forgetting how many reps I did. <laughs> and then squats. I did superset squats with deadlifts and uh, terrible idea. Do not do it. I would recommend either doing them completely separate or putting some exercises between them. Just because these are two very like entrees. And you know you want to put some snacks in between. Maybe some appetizers because you are your legs are going to be shot. Now we're moving on to chest. Look at all that sweat, guys. They put it so much this day, but it was so satisfying at the same time. Now I am super setting this with some shoulder presses and some flies. So doing a little bit more shoulder work. And then right into the flies. Now moving on to some reverse grip tricep push downs. Honestly, any type of tricep exercise that you would like to do, rope or whichever would work just fine for this. And now to abs. Um, so you want to do 200 total of whatever exercise you want to pick. Or you could do a mixture of some, like I did. But ideally on the original workout plan, it's going to be 200 sit-ups. But you could kind of play with that to whatever you feel like will challenge you the most. I'm just doing some of my favorites. As long as you get 200, that's all that matters. And that is basically how my workout ended with half of my soul left at the gym. Like I mentioned, I did not get to do the whole workout in the time that I had. So I highly, highly, highly suggest that you check out the description box so that way you could see the entire workout. Honestly, you do not want to cut yourself short. Trust me, this workout is killer. It will leave you in such good pain and you will feel so accomplished after you finish it. I want you guys to look at this as a template and you can modify it and make changes as you see fit. If you could do more, do by all means do more if maybe you're a beginner beginner and you don't have the endurance yet to get through all that then go ahead and maybe drop it down to five sets of 10 and work your way up to 10 by 10 so you know that could be a goal that you could set for yourself and that sums up this video go ahead and make sure you like comment and subscribe i challenge you guys to share my channel with at least one person i don't care if it's your mom your co-worker your neighbor your aunt farm whoever or whatever now I'm going to go to the gym and work off these cookies. I'll catch you guys in my next video.